What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back. In today's Tool Craze episode, we're going to take a look at DeWalt's latest cordless outdoor power equipment for their 20 volt max line. Not too long ago, they released a new line of 40 volt outdoor power equipment, which is pretty nice by the way, but their widely used 20 volt max line seemed a bit neglected. And it's nice to see that they finally brought us 20 volt max users some cordless outdoor power equipment of their own. So far they've come out with two outdoor power tools. First with a 20 volt max leaf blower and then a couple of months later they came out with a 20 volt max string trimmer. And both of these tools are priced at $200 each and each one comes as a kit with one of their biggest batteries, the 5.0 amp hour battery which charges in 90 minutes and it also comes with the DCB 101 fast charger. Black & Decker, which is the company that owns DeWalt, has been making cordless outdoor power equipment for quite some time now. So they had a good foundation to start off with when developing these new DeWalt lawn power tools. We can see that they didn't just give us a Black & Decker trimmer and blower and then paint them yellow and slap a DeWalt logo on top. They went further than that with all new designs. To start off, they both use powerful brushless motors. Brushless motors are very energy efficient and naturally give you longer run time than similar brush motors and they also allow for a more powerful motor if the manufacturer decides to. This enabled DeWalt to give the trimmer a respectable 13 inch cutting swath with not just one but two cutting lines. And taking a look at the blower, they gave it some serious stats for a 20 volt blower. With a large turbine motor that produces 400 CFMs at 90 miles per hour. And if you take a look at the tube on this blower, they used a very large wide open design since the motor can push a large amount of air volume from a 20 volt battery. Typically other 20 volt blower designs keep the blower tube very scrawny with a very small opening at the end. While this does increase its air speed output, it also limits the amount of air volume that it pushes out from other 20 volt blowers with smaller tubes. This blower has plenty of power to blow away dry leaves at a close distance. And it's certainly a step up from the tiny cordless 18 volt blowers from other brands that are meant strictly for job site cleanup. It does well with dry leaves and can also push other yard debris such as grass clippings. Here I decided to push the grass clippings back into the lawn for a quick cleanup of the concrete floor. There was a small section with water on the floor where the grass clippings fell onto and the blower had a difficult time with the wet stuck on grass as it couldn't push the wet grass. After all the work was done cutting the backyard grass at a friend's house, I used this blower to remove the grass clippings for the lawn mower. It removed the loose grass that was laying near the outside of the mower, but it didn't budge the grass that was stuck onto the blades themselves, even with a blast of air at full speed up close. I thought this DeWalt blower has nice power for a 20 volt blower, with a good balance of air speed and air volume. It's very good from a 20 volt battery, very powerful for the voltage class that it's in. You'll get more power out of larger voltages like 36 volt blowers and higher, but I think its performance is very good for a 20 volt blower. One of the features I like on this blower is that it has a variable speed trigger so you can control the power between low and high. And also on top of that, you also have a lever on top that locks the blower in the on position. So you don't have to hold the trigger the entire time you use it. What's also great about the lock on lever is that you can control how much you want the lock on speed to be. Anywhere from low and all the way up to full speed. You can even lock it on the lowest speed setting and still be able to use a trigger so you can press the main trigger to give it full speed when needed. The overall design and performance of the blower was pretty good. Even the runtime was good as I managed to get 23 minutes of non-stop use while on full speed with the included 5.0 battery. One thing that was a bit annoying was that the large air intake on the back of the blower where the air gets sucked into likes to occasionally pull your clothing if you get the blower too close to your pants. So you have to make sure to keep a safe distance between the blower and your pants. The string trimmer is also a great performer for its 20 volt voltage class. Just looking at the specifications alone, it doesn't sound like much on paper with a max 6000 RPM and that's on the high setting. But once you put it into good use, it performs pretty good for a 20 volt trimmer. The motor has a good amount of torque, giving both cutting lines the ability to cut grass at a good pace. 
The high speed setting performed very good with grass that didn't have too much link to it. And it also performed very well with grass that was thick and tall. Although don't expect to rush right through it, as the motor will bog down fairly easily with the thicker and tall grass if you try to move the trimmer too fast. So take your time with the dense grass. And just to see how powerful it is on tall weeds, I took it to the side of the house where a bunch of weeds came out of nowhere. This first section was cut using the low speed setting. Even on low speed, it takes care of these weeds as long as you take your time and move at a slow, steady pace. Otherwise, the motor will definitely bog down. I did about half the weeds on the low speed setting. And now let's see what the high speed setting is all about. Here we can see a big increase in performance as the trimmer can power through the tall weeds at a much quicker pace. And that's for its ability to perform as an edger. It performed well for the most part. But edging is where we can see the limitations of the 20 volt max platform. It can get the job done, although not nearly as fast and as powerful as trimmers with larger voltages. The trimmer uses a nice padded handle with foam lining for added comfort. This is a nice touch and was one of the first things I noticed when I picked it up. It comes installing the shaft toward the top, and I found this position to be comfortable for me. But let's say you decide you want to move it up or down, or even side to side, you could do that if needed. And they left the four screws so you can untie them with a hex key to adjust the handle. One thing that I really liked about the DeWalt string trimmer was that besides the variable speed trigger, it also features two speeds. A low speed that limits the motor down to 4,600 RPM. And this setting is great for light duty cutting, such as weekly cutting in the fall and winter season. This setting is also good as it sips battery power very slowly and makes the trimmer run longer. You also get the full speed setting that gives the motor full cutting speed at 6,000 RPM for maximum power. Just keep in mind that using the full power runs the battery down much quicker. And to extend the line, the trimmer uses the traditional bump feed system. So all you need to do to extend the line is to give the cutting head a quick bump on the ground while spinning to extend the line. One thing I noticed on this trimmer is that it's not as loud as other string trimmers and that's because of the reduced RPM. And I found that while on the lowest speed, the noise was very comfortable. On this setting, you can be able to do your guard work without having to irritate your neighbors. Or let's say if you're working in the early morning or even later in the day. So overall, the string trimmer did very well for only having 20 volts. With very respectable power, being able to cut taller grass and weeds on full speed. You also get pretty good runtime with the included battery. I managed to get 21 minutes of non-stop use at full speed. And while I didn't time its use on only low speed, I was able to get about 30 minutes of use with a mix of full speed and low speed, cutting the grass on my entire backyard and whacking down some weeds on the side of my house, and it still had one bar left on the battery. So I would imagine I can get another 5 minutes of use easily, and possibly even an extra 10 minutes if I'm lucky. So the moral of the story is that using the lowest speed setting as much as possible extends your runtime. One thing to note on this string trimmer is that it has a very small string guard located on the back of the cutting swath. And because it's not as wide as other string trimmers, it ends up spitting lots of grass towards you on the left side. And I end up with lots of grass on my shoes and lower legs. I found that in order to alleviate this issue, you have to focus your cuts on the right side of the trimmer in order for the grass and debris to be shot forward instead of back towards you. So overall, I thought they both performed very well for their smaller 20 volt voltage. And I think they would make perfect outdoor power equipment for homeowners that don't have large yards. The biggest benefit is that they're battery powered, saving you the time and hassle associated with gasoline engines. I think you'll be very pleased with both of these, just as long as you keep in mind that they don't perform as strong when compared to higher voltage classes such as 40 volts and up. I also thought the build quality is very good on both tools with the same quality you'd expect from DeWalt. I really like how solid the string trimmer feels as it's only one piece unlike some of the other cord string trimmers that come in two pieces and have to be assembled. Other two piece trimmers just don't feel all that solid. Although they're both about twice as expensive as other 18 volt or 20 volt equipment, I feel it's still about the same value as even though you pay more, you get a much higher capacity 5.0 amp hour battery, which today is about as big as they get. And let's not forget the solid performance and the powerful brushless yet energy efficient motors. And on top of that, the batteries charge relatively quick at only 90 minutes. I know some may think that the hour and a half charge time may seem a bit slow, especially when compared to 30 minute charge times. But in all fairness, we're talking about a massive 5.0 amp hour battery, which is going to take more time to charge than 1.5 and 2.0 amp hour batteries. And because it has a bigger capacity, 
it's going to run much longer than smaller battery packs. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you guys think of these new 20 volt max outdoor power equipment from DeWalt in the comment section below. Also make sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and make sure to follow me on social media and over at the web at toolcraze.net for more tool reviews and tool news. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.